Hello everybody, welcome to this third part of this tutorial series about flying retro-style IVA spacecraft. In this third part, um, well, in the last part we successfully rendezvoused with Eagle, which you can see right here. Hello! And uh, now we look into the docking things. This involves a couple of things. The first step is going to be to orient ourselves towards the docking axis. So for that, there's a couple of steps. Uh, you need to go to the everyday git mode, put yourself to target and minus, which in that case will be docking port. But you can see that uh, it's not very happy about it right now, throwing some error flags. It's because you need to be targeting the said docking port you want to dock with, and you need to be controlling your craft from a docking port. And you can see now, this is gone and we've got a nice happy docking port flag. All right. And you can see that we also have a roll needle uh, because for docking, obviously, we need to be aligned in the three axes. But uh, there can be some complications. Let me explain you this. I guess there's like three uh, situations you can deal with. The first one is the easiest, is that uh, both spacecraft uh, are are or can orient towards each other. In that case, nothing more easy. You are aligned, already aligned towards the docking port and you just need to go prograde and uh, dock, right? Second case, uh, say this uh, tin can is a space station. It's big, right? It won't rotate, but you know its orientation, right? And maybe the docking port is facing prograde. So in that case, what you want to do is just orient yourselves to retrograde to face the docking port. I mean by that, that you already know the, the good heading in which to orient, right? And the third case is you don't know how the hell this spacecraft is oriented and also you don't know where it is. Uh, that's dumb. Maybe you stand it some bad work, maybe the astronaut on Eagle are asleep, but it is like it is and trust me, it will happen to you in KSP a lot. It happened to me a lot too. First, you need to figure out where the spacecraft is. So in that case, we'll go to target plus because we want to have visual confirmation. So I'm orienting towards target plus in the direction of our target. We should see it soon. There it is. Okay, so there we have it. We know where is the spacecraft. And uh, from there, we can proceed. So going back to LA Git mode, set yourselves to docking port. Maybe turn on the docking lights right here. Really nice. Control from docking port. Okay, so now we need to move towards the starting point. So we'll move over there and we, we need to face this direction. Okay. So now we are in the correct orientation and we need to tr translate right towards the starting point. But uh, how do we keep track of where the station is, how far? we are, etc, etc. So for that, I'll introduce you to the X pointer instrument, which is this uh, funny screen right here. It has three modes, one for landing. We'll look into that in a following episode. Uh, and then two modes for docking. So uh, this one shows uh, the distance relative to docking port in the X and Y axis. And this one, the uh, velocity in the X and Y axis. There's three scales available, small, normal, and large. Yeah, you see in the small scale, I can't see. So I'm switching to the bit scale. This is in meters. So this is 200 meters. Uh, so we are about 30 meters in the X axis and uh, 20 meters in the Y axis. How about the Z axis then? Uh, once uh, you zero those two needles, you can use the uh, ART altitude range range rate instrument um, because if both of those zero, the remaining distance here is gonna uh, only gonna be forward or backward. Don't forget you also have your uh, rendezvous screen to get some maybe more precise reading on the approach speed because here it's uh, analog. It's getting a bit dark here. Let's get to it. So first, I'm gonna cancel that velocity. All right, zero approach speed. And we need to go in this direction, right? So 
So that's 1.5 meters per second. Uh, yeah, that's me later when editing. This is not 1.5 meters per second because we are in one tenth scale. So this is 0 0.15 meters per second. <laughs> Sorry. In both direction. Yeah, and you can see now the needles are slowly moving. Okay, so some time has passed. I'm switching to the one time scale. Or slowly drifting. Okay, so I'm gonna reduce that speed. Okay, I did overshot a bit, that's not a problem. So yeah, you need to be switching constantly between the two uh, things to, to accurately keep track of where you are relative to the spacecraft. This is slowly coming up, less than one meter. Switch to precise control. Okay, that's good enough for now. We still need a bit of punch, yeah, in the x-axis, so let's go. It's slowly closing. So nothing complicated. If the, the, if the distance needle is to the left, just move your velocity needle to the left to compensate, right? Let's go faster. I did overshot again. Okay, so we should be aligned. And oh, we drifted slightly. Okay. Now we should be closing again. And if I look here, magic and that's really beautiful. <laughs> All the time when you do that, uh, yeah, you just happy, believe me. <laughs> okay, and here I could have gone on the window, but I wanted to let the surprise. So all what you left now is going forward uh, at slow speed. But first we need to finish uh, this part, which is orienting our spacecraft accurately, because we were doing that uh, only like, uh, not precisely because we that wasn't important at the time. Okay. okay. My pitch is left. So we should be good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So now it's going to be only translation. Uh we did deviate a little bit with this maneuver. So let's bring everything home and uh, uh fine tune again our our position. Okay, let's burn forward. Uh, we are pretty far, like, uh, yeah, we did drift slightly in those maneuvers. So let's just go with one meter per second. So during this final approach, you want to monitor the docking distance. You see I'm drifting slightly and also the orientation, right? Uh, because maybe your RCSs aren't balanced. So there is some imprecision going, uh, going over there. Coming up. I'm slowing down to 0.2 meters per second. That's looking good. Continue to compensate. Uh, obviously, as you close, getting closer and closer from the docking port, it's going to become more sensitive to deviation. So in, you need to keep adjusting yourselves. 
uh, orientation is good. I'm slowing down to 0.1 meters per second. Slowing down again. Almost there. And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Uh, okay. Hello. What the f is going on? Okay. Okay, we are back. <laughs> uh, okay, so now you know how to do a docking. So let me just recap quickly. After the rendezvous is done, you want to assess the position and the orientation of the targeted spacecraft, align to the targeted docking port, uh, axis, move, translate towards the starting point using the X pointer distance to, to know where you are compared to the spacecraft because you've got the X and Y axis to help you. And uh, use also the range rate, the speed in the rendezvous screen. Once you are in the starting point, all is left to do is move forward while still being aligned in the X and Y axis. So you constantly monitor that. You switch between distance and velocity between the various scales. You check your range here from the docking port and your Z, Z, yeah, Z speed, sorry. <laughs> It's going to be right here and uh, right here. Uh, okay, so that's it. I think uh, the next tutorial, hey, hello, Earth. The next tutorial is going to be about uh, Apollo style uh, landing. And uh, yeah, with this uh, sunset uh, above the moon, uh, I say you goodbye. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to do so. And I'll see you in the next one. See you.